Germ. Ladies and germs, brah. It, no, I, I have enough germs right now in my life. I'm sniffly. My daughter's <laughs> sniffly. Are you wearing... You're sniffly. Are you wearing a gold lame top hat? I am wearing my Candyman outfit. I walk around like this handing out hard candies to the children. <laughs> <laughs> and you do got hard candies on you, I'm assuming. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> That's not what okay. I picked. I picked that. When we get to, I think, where's our next stop? Our next stop is going to be... Oh, wait, come back here, you. <laughs> oh. You missed that shit twice. <laughs> he said, Jesus! <laughs> Okay, let me know when you start your, start your posse, your pussy posse. Oh fuck, I have to start that, don't I? I'm busy tying this dude up. I don't know, baby. Don't kick your juice, drink your juice, that's what it's there for, silly. I really hope you go back and listen to these and go like, Oh, my dad's being nice and reasonable with me, and I'm meeting every one of his expectations with whinge. Oh my god. Uncle Danny's shooting at everybody. No, I was shooting at that one guy. It's okay. I got that guy from way back here. That was, that was a sweet kill. <laughs> No more witnesses. No, I, I laid that guy, I tied him up and then laid him in front of you, and then I went and hid in the bushes and waited for someone to walk up and then shot him in the head, hoping that I they would that, think though. it was you, but it wasn't, they didn't think it was you. They that knew was nice. it was me. Alright, uh, I gotta set up a pussy posse. Um, this is mine. Reform the posse. Do I have to invite you? Maybe. I do. I sent one. Even though your your name is in bright bright red now because you decided <laughs> to tie me up. <laughs> Can you come cut me free, or do I have to belly walk the, the whole line? <laughs> Who witnessed a mur? Who? What? What murder? Oh, did they run over? They ran over that guy. Oh, so that's you right. putting him in the him. road? <laughs> you you essentially murdered that guy. Oh, you're in his butt. This is a hot. <laughs> this is a hot way to start our program. <laughs> Wait, let me wiggle around real quick. Yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> but I'm uh, I'm also wanted for a crime. So the police are probably going to come sh come show up anytime soon. Yeah. Look at you looking around like a fruitcake. <laughs> Where's my hat? It's over here. Is it really over yeah. here? You tricking me? It was over here. Sorry, this side, this direction. I'm standing on it right now. Don't worry, these, uh, these lawmen over here spotted me. Let me run away, stay where you are, I'll, well, are you considered wanted too? I'm not, I'm just gonna hang back on this tree here and let the lawmen do their thing. He went down that away, officers. Uh, there's some killing getting done over there. I fought the law. <laughs> Oh, well. Hey, respawn! All right, let's get this walk a going. Where's our next stop? Is Emerald Ranch? I need to pick some sh my shit up from uh, Emerald Ranch when we get down there, because they have lardies and gentle pooks. I'll make it. I'll, we'll go to Emerald Station because that's where the uh, 
I should we can get mail at Emerald Station, right? I think so. Shining Time Station. <whistles> Starring Didi Khan. George Carlin was on that show. He was. Mr. Conductor. Yep. So was Alec Baldwin. So was Ringo Starr. Yeah, but who gives a shit about Ringo Starr? That's pretty much the only thing I ever cared that Ringo ever did, was Shining Time Station. That's fair. That's a fair uh, assessment. I know you're not a Beatles fan, so that's completely fair. I am not... I got a ton of beef, beef, no, it's just salted beef. I can't call it beef joiky. <laughs> Do you have assorted salted offal? <laughs> oh, I got plenty of candies. Delicious candy treats. See? The candy men. Yeah, but they're not from you. Oh, hang on. There we go. Just ate some candy. I'm the candy man. There, I refilled all my cores. I didn't think I was going to be able to refill my cores. Just a, a quick a quick reminder to those watching, we are currently walking from Oak Creek's Oak Run down <clears throat> here to Emerald Station. Shiny Time Station. Stop throwing those. Eat those. What is she throwing? Is it is it uh is it food? Uh yeah, it's food and she's throwing it all on the floor over there. She wants to. That's baby for shut up and clean it up, Pops. Apparently. She called me boomer the other day. I was like, what the what? Uh, my stable fees are two dollars and twenty-five cents now because I have three stupid goddamn motherfucking horses. <laughs> I have. Uh, that's the other thing I gotta do is pay my bounty. I got like a two seventy bounty in this. <laughs> nice. From the last episode that we from the last up episode, yeah. I think that when the law catches you, it should take your bounty away because you got caught, right? You got killed. You're fucking dead. They 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 send the cost of the bullet to your mother. I don't think Stalin was around yet, was he? He might have been. He might have been a wee a wee young lad. He might have been Stalin to get here. Fuck you. Say it one more time. I'm not going to. Just say it again. <sighs> Nessie, I want to. I want everybody to understand. I know I'm setting myself up for shit here, but I can't. I can't help myself. He was Stalin to so get here. So when Joseph Stalin used to kill dissidents in uh, in communist Russia, he would bill the family for the bullet that was used to kill him, just as another little twist of the knife. Uh huh. That was the reference. <laughs> I was just explaining it for anyone who might not have known. They have Google. Yeah, but they wouldn't have Googled it. You know goddamn well they wouldn't have Googled it. <laughs> That's their fucking problem. <laughs> Don't vomit. <laughs> that wasn't a command, that was a hope. Hey, yeah, she can vomit. You're not yeah, gonna. Yeah, you can. You're fully capable of it. Yeah. Oh my god. There aren't even that many, uh, like, picking plants, are there? Oh, yeah. I just, I just noticed. There, there ain't you probably that many... have to go off the beaten path. Hang on. Pro yeah, that Ooh. would. You could just come sense. out here a little way.
Because when I BB logged two. in on the last server, there was a deer, and I tried to shoot it, and I missed and hit a tree. Oh. Why I, is my horse back there? What did you do to my horse? Why is he not I didn't falling? do anything. I haven't done anything to your horse yet. He probably fucking walked into a rock and just was like, Oh, this must be the end of the trip, huh? Uh, so he's basically, um, what's his face? Uh, uh, Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw game? Yeah, he gets stuck on a bicycle. Or a tricycle, whatever the fuck it was. It was Atari, it doesn't matter. It was a bicycle or a tricycle. <laughs> it was a wagon wheel. Could have been a shopping cart. <clears throat> the comely lads. Weasel walking. That's, 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 uh, that was it. That was my comment. Weasel walking. Weasel walking along the path. All right. Oh this is God. some real time walking action right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's too early for this shit. Uh, <laughs> Mind you, it's almost yeah, noon. I, I just got up though, and you like <laughs> the very first thing I see when I turn my phone on is when you want to get this walk started. I'm like, oh my god. It's soul. just to get this shit out of the way. Because the first thing I saw when I got up was your detailed plans of how we're gonna do the next stream stream game. Uh, which will that wasn't be even all that detailed. No, just the basics of it, but still, it's uh, it it gave the details that I needed, and it's just a rem just uh, we got to finish this before we do that. Fair enough. That is a that is a reminder. Aren't we at Emerald Ranch yet? Nope, not at Shining Time Station as of yet. We're not even fucking close. God. <laughs> I'm gonna run to catch up to you. Okay. Oh, I have a 20 cent bounty in New Hanover. I got a 310 bounty in New Hanover. <laughs> Special Agent Denise Hemphill dressed as Khaleesi. Don't be racist, she looks fly. Who is dressed as the Khaleesi? Special Agent Denise Hemphill of the FBI. Is that a real person? In Scream Queens it is. Okay, okay. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Have a girl, they said. It would be fun, they said. Who? Who said you? That? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is the end of the tracks. How long, if we stand here, will there ever be a train crash into this? Doubtful. But we could try. If you want to abandon our walk plans and just stand here train spotting. <laughs> train spotting a stretch of track that is well known to not have trains right into it. <laughs> what if it came full speed and just slammed into that? Well, you'd have to pronounce it properly first. What if it came full speed? There you go. <laughs> oh, Magorsk. Oh my gosh. Is that the first oh my gosh of this, uh, this, uh, this, this walk? This trek, this whole stretch, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, go oh my gosh, you gosh. Any of them flowers over here picking flowers? None of them's just picking flowers. I ain't catching no whiffs. These are these look like poppies. Can I skip through them? Poppies will make them sleep. Holy shit, she pronounced it right back then. She totally did. Wow. It 
for the Zoomers out there. <laughs> that we're talking about The Wizard of Oz, which was a film from the 1920s. It, which I once what, again, what streaming service can they find that on? Freeform, none. fucking Disney. Not on Disney. It I know Disney be... has a sequel. Yes, Disney has returned to Oz with Feruza Balkan. Is that a word that you could say with the uh, with the proper pronunciations? Feruza Balk. <laughs> Feruza. She was this in a movie like I watched the other day. I watched uh, the bad the sequel to Bad Lieutenant. The, oh God. The Harvey Keitel movie, the sequel to it, starring Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Fruza wow. Bulk was in that. Um, how, like, what age Fruza? Um, well, this was only, I think, 20, 2009 Fruza. Jesus Christ. Now, have you heard anything about this, this remake of The Craft? No. I didn't hear anything about that. Okay. They're remaking well, The me... Craft? They're remaking or rebooting or sequelizing The Craft. Let me figure out what the hell is going on here and I will report to you in one second. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Like I'm I I always have a negative thought when I hear that they're rebooting or remaking anything because I'm an old man and that's just how I feel or how I think. But the craft is a, that's that's something completely different, man. That's that was our cult film. That was the movie that we saw before everyone else. Started that saying was the that movie was... we pounded our puds to before anybody else pounded their puds to it. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> A reboot of The Craft is coming and fans don't know how to feel. <laughs> <laughs> My God, do you know how, like, do you remember the scene where Nev Campbell is getting stabbed in the back? I My do. My God, her screams gave me such a heart. <laughs> Excuse me. I knew just the points where I wanted to blam at. <laughs> Was it when uh, what's her name gets uh, gets gets all mad while she's in her trailer park, her trailer? <laughs> no, it's um, like the first time is is seeing uh, Ben Stiller's wife go bald. Yeah, that's a great scene. Yeah, where she's pulling her hair out and crying, God, and sitting I on the floor. So <laughs> fucking hard to see. <laughs> <scene. laughs> Your daughter is in the room. <laughs> we now know who will be leading the craft reboot when the film rolls around. <laughs> we learned this past March that Blumhouse Productions was teaming with Sony Pictures to create a new version of the craft. And casting is now underway with the full lead ensemble revealed. Previously announced, Kaylee Spaney? Don't know who that is. Is that a racial Bad term for someone from Spain? <laughs> Ben hey, get over here, up. you fucking Spaney. <laughs> Kaylee Spaney from Bad Times at the El Royale. I've seen that movie. Who was Kaylee Spaney in that? It doesn't go into greater detail. Okay. Detail. I... We'll be joined by Gideon Adlon from The Society. Nope. Mine. Lovey Simone from Greenleaf. Nope. And Zoe Luna from Pose. Eh, no, this is like in that's in uh, in Family Guy when they go to the uh, when they go to the what is it the Teen Choice Awards? <laughs> yes. And they're naming off all the characters. Grace and... McLady. <laughs> <laughs> the Mondo Twins. The Mondo Twins. <laughs> <laughs> the new film is described as a reimagining of the 1996 film that starred Robin Tunney. Fruza Balk, Nev Campbell, Christine Taylor, and Rachel True. And revolved around a group of outcast teen Catholic prep school students who practice witchcraft on the side. Robin Tunney was the wife in that one Zodiac movie that I went to the theater and saw. Robin Tunney was the mess of, an, of a person who was in End of Days. She was the mess of a person in Empire Records. She was the mess of a person in all the movies that she starred in. She was a mess of a person in a The Craft. Okay, what was that really fucking great movie starring Jared Leto, but I can't watch it more than once every few years because it's it's a tough sit and oh, a tough uh, sit down. Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, good 
lord. Marlon Wayans was great in that, though. Yeah, to this I, day, I'll always say he's he should have gotten like all of the awards. I think they're like, all great in it, but yeah, even. he <laughs> he stands out like he's really good in that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you're to are joining us for Marlon Wayne's discussion and baby whinging. This is the greatest stream of all time. Hey, I just got a bunch of tomahawks for free. Got some dynamite. What else? We I'm got? a one-man tomahawk. Got some animal fat. Be right back. Yeah. Got some fire bottles. Got some more dynamite. Got some big gay meat. I'm here. You need a bit of help. Do I look like I need help? Picking up my gay meat. Got some repeater cartridges, some revolver cartridges. What else do I got here? Some more high velocity revolver cartridges. And the, the, the rifle cartridges. Some candies. And that looks like that's about it. I think that guy just called me a queer. Where is our... Oh no! Didn't drop it. I caught it. Where is our next stop? We are currently at Emerald's Ranch. Now we gotta get to Twin... Twin... God fucking damn it. Stay straight. Now we got to go to wait where'd it go twin stack pass twin stack a pass all right now i'm gonna collect my deliveries <laughs> deliveries oh good more baby whinging cool <laughs> she's not feeling good leave her alone Hang on one right. sec, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll, I'll be walking with you to the next point, though. Okay. And we're walking again. We stopped at the mailman and we picked up our mail and now we're walking again. I'm gonna go check out this thing over here while... Mr. Number 2 catches up. I'm just going to check out what's going on with this. What are you doing, Pally? You're a bounty guy. You're here to collect a bounty, ain't you? I ain't got no bounties for you. Someone might. Someone will be along in no time. Don't worry. Quit looking at me. No. I'm trying to give you a thumbs up, brudda. And let's catch back up. No. Get out of my way, horse. Was this horse's name? Was it Morrissey? And what was the other name? Chris Isaac? It wasn't Chris Isaac. Oh, look at that sunset. The sun's a setting. Better get them lamps out. Why ain't my light on? I'm carrying a light, but it ain't on. Someone put their controller down. Hey, look at the moon. Can I shoot the moon? I'm gonna snipe the moon. I fired a bullet. Now I got unopened parcels that I can pick up at the post office. 
Because now I ain't full on uh, rifle rifle weapon bullets. Even. Bullets for my rifle weapons. There's some lights up there. I wonder what that's all about. Stupid horse didn't use the bridge. Is that a mushroom? And everybody knows you have to go to the bridge before you go to the chorus. It's not a mushroom, it's just a bunch of rocks. It's called the mushroom tip rock. Hey, you're holding up traffic there, buddy. Oh goodness, I, I apologize. That's a nice wagon. I know. It'd be a shame if someone were to kill the driver and not take the wagon. Come here. Uh, Can I set these people's try. crops on fire? I'm gonna go set these people's crops on fire. Give me a second. It's a plantation fire, goodness. Oh, that looked great. The fire doesn't spread, though. Sometimes it does. Well, it didn't this time. Look at that. Oh, wait. Is it spreading over here? It no longer looks like it. It's not. It's just burning our circle around this shit. Gay. How come they didn't implement the Ku Klux Klan guys into the, uh... into the online... F functionality? I don't know. People have said it's probably for the same reason that... The that same they what? don't have animal... The same reason they don't have animals in GTA. Because... Too many people would be filming themselves killing animals. So? Exactly. These are Nazis. These are these are white supremacists. They yeah. should not care what we do to them in our game. They're Klansmen. Half of the shit they do in the game, they do it to themselves. Oh. <laughs> they fucking light themselves on fire in the story mode. Hey, Jericho. He was. He was a. Uh, uh, it was what? Grand Purple wizard. wizard? <laughs> Hang on one sec, I'll be right back. Say Purple Headed Wizard and then just disappear into the sunset. Have we may 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 a hab quique? We may have. Are you reading Moby some Dick? Some hard candies. When when don't I read Dick? Moby Dick. Yeah, that's what I call him. Okay. We're so well acquainted now. I'm just it's, it's just Dick. It's a good book. It's a good Dick. Ho <laughs> ho. None bowling. You have hard candies? Is that what you just said? I do. I do. Children! Children of the land, come to Pep Pep! I have hard candies for you! <laughs> Pep Pep. Pep Pep. It's from Jim and Derek, right? Yes. They're, they're a terrific program. I prefer Uncle Muscles. <laughs> I sit down when I pee. 
There's nothing that crazy about me. I'm just taking a whiz. Mind your own biz. Why is everybody always staring at me? Hey, bro. Why don't you stand I've like a rather go. regular man? Like you can see <laughs> in the urinal can. <laughs> hey, bro. I've got to go. Me through. I gotta go, number two. No can do. I'm taking a wee. Just sitting on the loo, having a good long pee. You're sitting down? I'm, I'm sitting, sitting down. down. You're not making brown? You're not, not making, making brown. brown. Are you making iced tea? Just, Just lemonade. And you're sitting down? I'm sitting down. <laughs> hey, who's this guy? Should I firebomb him? Oh, wait, oh, no, yeah. I, always, I already, no, I already threw all my firebombs at that field, at that field. Oops. Technically, your lantern is also a firebomb. How do I use it like that? You can't. Oh. Well, then why even bring it up? Because technically that's what it is. No, I know, but you didn't, you brought it up and that's... And that would probably keep a fire going and spread because of the Earl. The Earl. I mean, there's Earl in the fire bombs that you make. Yeah, but not the same kind of Earl. No. It could be. I mean, who's to say that they didn't use kerosene? Well, I, I, I use my pee. Is your pee flammable? Yeah. Have you been to a doctor about that? Or is no, that your, it's, it's from your, that's uh, our destination. It's from that's your <laughs> X gene. <laughs> We're heading to San Denis so I can go to the doctors and get this, this urinary tract thing figured out. Why are you pissing <laughs> literal kerosene? I don't think that has to do with the urinary tract. I think that's more up on the insides. <laughs> well, we'll find out. <laughs> it's your mutant power. It's essentially, um, I, we we went to Tumbleweed for the pot festival, and I, I contracted something. Might have been all that unprotected sex. Ugh. With uh, old West hookers? Fuck yes, the fat ones. Fuck yeah, bro. It's all about them old West hookers. All I want to do is fuck old West hookers. I don't know what else to add to that. <laughs> that's okay, cause that's John F. Kennedy, and I want to hear more about this. Well, I guess it <laughs> all was. All I want to do yeah, is go back was... in time. <laughs> I was going more for, like, a, someone in the crowd at a Patriots game, but I guess that does work for John Kennedy, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking All I want to do is go back in time and have sex with an Old West whore. Oh, no. I think she just ripped a chunk out of my inner bicep. At least it wasn't your nip. That's a lot more sensitive than, than a bicep. No, it's not. It's <laughs> Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, be there on the double. Yeah. Here's the Singing that man. Paw Patrol at you. Huh? Um. Do you want to hear Uncle British sing you the, the Blues Clues Mail song? <laughs> he needs to sing Baby Shark. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. I'll sing the mail song. I'm not going to sing Baby Shark. All right, I'll unplug so she can hear you sing the mail song. I'm not good. I, but I don't. Now I'm now I'm nervous. Here's the mail, it never fails, it makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail! Happy? Yep, no, she hated that. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Because I don't have I a British accent. You've been yeah, building exactly. me up to have a British accent, and I don't have one. 
Yeah. You should sing that song like Oasis next time. Oh, I don't know how I would do that. <laughs> I could... I don't know. Just fight with your brother while you sing it. <laughs> Just fight. <laughs> I said, baby, you gotta be the one who saves me. Wonderwall. But after all, Bunderbug. Ah, yes, the great 90s classic Bunderbug. <laughs> Bunderbug. <laughs> All right, we have reached Twin Stack Pass. Let's head. All right, and this little girl is going to have Paw Patrol time in the back room, so hopefully we don't get 24 7 wins. Now we're heading to Flatneck Station. Flatneck? Flatneck. So we're gonna go to Mitch McConnell's place of uh, place of origin. Oh shit! You're getting you're getting topical. Hashtag Politico. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, who's this way? Great. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, you're okay. You really are okay. You've been fed. You've had your juice. Here, hugs. Hugs for daddy. Gotta start calming yourself down because you're working yourself up to be too hot right now. Hugs not drugs, brah. Yeah. Yeah, Mighty Puffs is good. Those are superhero Paw Patrols. Okay, let's get you out of there. Come on. I'll keep walking. I will catch up. I captains. There we go. Would you like me to hoist her into her crib? Okay. <laughs> Open your hand. Nothing in her hand. Just a sweaty baby hand. <laughs> I'm not running. Stop running. I'm not. What part of I'm not running don't you understand? God damn it. Gotta catch up. <laughs> nope, gotta catch up. Uh, nope, you didn't pass me. I don't. I can't do uh, it this time. Uh, uh. The Candy Man. The Candy Man can, cause he. I don't know. What does he do? Rubs it on his dick or something? Hey. Yeah, that's how you mix things with love, right? To make his balls oh, hang on. taste good. <sighs> <laughs> Poor BB Chew. She's a sweet little goyim. <laughs> she's a boil and a ghoul. One day she's gonna break the caplock. <laughs> That's a bread, right? That's like a biscuit? Uh, I honestly don't know. You know more Jewish stuff than I know. Kraplach. I don't really know that much Jewish stuff, though. Which like I know tells about the dreidel. My knowledge of Jew stuff. I know about a dreidel. It's made of clay, but I've only ever had dreidels made of wood. Little Chinese dreidels. Why Chinese dreidels? Why is my <laughs> heart core dr draining so badly? Why is your what draining? My heart core. Oh. Um, it, it's not really draining that badly either. It's because you haven't had any canned strawberries. And oh. I'm going to drink some brandy. It's all and about it. them canned strawberries. What are you smelling? 
Who, me or Louie? You. I'm not smelling anything. Are you licking your balls? Yes! But I'm not smelling them. Some of us Weirdo. smell our balls? What's wrong with that? People, like, I grip them like they're, like, like, they're, they're in a, a tie. Like a band. And I grip them so it looks like they're about ready to explode, and then you just get a good fucking lick on them balls. I'm gonna let you sit and think about what you just said. What the fuck are you looking at? Where's my horse? God damn it. <laughs> Why do you run no, that I way? Didn't, and I didn't, uh... Oh, Jesus. Get out of the way. And, uh, I didn't send your horse away. Yet. Eh, my horse is a dick. I raised him to have a mind of his own, and he does. Yeah. Get the hell out of here, horse. I can't control the horse. I can just ride on its back. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not letting... Like, he's not going anywhere. I'm not telling what to do. He's just... I guess he's just following you. Yeah, that's that works. Yeah, but it doesn't count because I'm not walking. True. Are we getting into alligator country yet? Hey, I don't think so. And I'm marveling at my son's shitty penmanship. Yeah, I got so, dog shit penmanship, so... Well, we, we all do, but at least we can actually read our shit. This was like... These well, were numbers, and they look like letters. Okay. I have bad penmanship, <laughs> and with the MS, it makes my bad penmanship look like worse... Much, much worse penmanship. <laughs> oh my god. Is someone screaming? <laughs> Sounds like a... <laughs> Can I Jesus. use a tomahawk to chop down a tree? No! Isn't that fucking dumb? Minecraft, you could punch a tree to fucking smithereens! But here we can't take a hacksaw or nothing to this shit. So they should they should make it they should give it a survival mode like that where you have to you have to get, you know, chop down tree. But you know what? Those games always end up looking like shit though. They could be they could easily do something cool like that. They could. But it's Rockstar, so probably not. Yeah, exactly. Like I could see like separate servers where it's another server where it's specifically for Old West Survival. Bringing lumber to a to a yard to get it to get it cut for your uh, I guess your cabin or whatever that you got to build. Build it up step by step like in Skyrim. Day by day. I okay. A fresh start over. A different hand to play. Different hand to play. I don't remember the next line. Beep it deeper. No, oh, God. We did. <laughs> uh, I like the uh, David Lee Roth version here. <laughs> hey, are them the mountains? Are them the mountains we were up in a, a little while ago? For show. For show. Beep it deeper. Is, is that uh, David Lee Roth or is that Dave Matthews? What, what is that? It's more? Dave Matthews. I'd say more Dave Matthews with a beep it deep boop it boop it boop. Beep it deep boop. Strong with Dave Bay. You know, I didn't realize. And then a black guy plays the fiddle, and then you give him millions. <laughs> what was uh, what was his name? This <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> that was an old, <laughs> an old pull from an episode, damn it. <laughs> Who did you say? Lamont from uh, from Seven Dust. Lejean. Lejean, yeah. Lejean Witherspoon. Lejean Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't realize till fairly recently that uh, Step by Step was trying to be a reboot of the Brady Bunch. 
Well, it's not like they hammered it in with the uh, with that weird boxy intro that they did. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Oh! Oh my God! Some Indian <laughs> guy! Oh! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> well, it's a tomahawk, so they're not going to blame the white man, right? I don't know, but it looked way worse on my end because you threw the tomahawk, it stuck in his spine, he died on his horse, and then he, like, spun off of it like he got lassoed off. Yeah, he, no, he spun off on my end, too. Because when the horse, no. <laughs> when the horse took off, he, he went spinning. That that oceanside fucking roller coaster, man. <laughs> oceanside. <laughs> in like, Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, and the water is. The water is right up against the bottom of the roller coaster. <laughs> no, no regard for safety protocols. No, it's Just... it, it's completely unfeet. Like they built that roller coaster right on the sand. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! I like the tomahawk, it's fun. <laughs> Who witnessed? Oh, probably somebody spawned right behind you. Oh, shit, we have a lot of crap to... Um, we have stuff on this road. I'm gonna go hide There's up on the... something to dig right here. I'm gonna There's... hide up in these... Uh, up on this windmill, hope the cops don't catch me. There's spices? <laughs> There's what? Alright, so I got an arrowhead. And then a wild carrot I'm gonna eat. A wild what? That is pronounced completely properly. I'm gonna hide up here, see if the cops don't find me. And if they do, I'm gonna count on my posse to save me. Photo unavailable. Did you throw a fucking firebomb at me? Yeah, I wanted to see if it would catch fire. I mean, it is on fire. <laughs> but is it spreading? It is. It's absolutely spreading. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't oh, nice. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were doing that in the thing. It didn't spread earlier. Yeah, well, so it I stopped spreading. Were... It, it spread a bit, but it stopped. Okay. <laughs> How come I can't get down this ladder faster? Hold the X button. Sorry, I was. cross. Cross, everyone. Let me get on this. Get up there. Catch up to it. Hey! No more walk for me. I'm on a train. <laughs> it takes you back to Tumbleweed. <laughs> Gotta start over. <laughs> Okay, what is our next stop now? Do I have anything? <laughs> is she just screaming for the halibut now? <laughs> yep. Just you screaming, hey, from the other room. <laughs> halibut is a fish. Yep. Holy mackerel, right? The comely lads, where you get all your nonstop <laughs> fish humor. Fish humor, like a couple of a couple of a uh, couple of Jews in the 1920s. Why is my horse out of everywhere it can stand? Why is it standing right on the train track? <laughs> okay, where's our next stop now? This is we're at what? We're at Flatneck Station right now, right? Yes. We're Mitch heading McConnell in... Station. We're heading into Rhodes. Cody. Rhodes! Cody! Let's see, does it do it right? No, that's gonna take us back around here. I'm gonna set a waypoint here just to make it a little more round, and when we get to that waypoint, we're gonna, I'll set it for Rhodes. Okay. Because that waypoint was gonna just make us walk back the other direction. The direction we had just came from, and that would make this whole ordeal seem the whole ordeal seem a little pointless. 
<laughs> what, like walking across the, <laughs> the entire map again? What do you mean again? We've done this once before. What? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Is that the ocean? Ooh. Hulu error code P dash D E V three two zero. Unique error ID. I'm not going to read that. <laughs> well, it might be something that links back to our account in specifics, so. And I'd rather people in Streamland not know that. Yeah, info. not be able to punch that info in. And... She's moving the camera. Leave the camera alone. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone. I Hang on one sec. Catch a Tree right here. This is a nice tree. It's a pretty pretty hot tree. Pretty hot. I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't fuck it or nothing. Would Ray Bradbury declare it the Halloween tree? I don't know. Would he leave his wife for it? Probably. Ray Bradbury hated his wife. He'd leave her for That's what I'm saying. It's a tree. Like an actual tree, not a not a a tree that's just a hippie whose parents named him after a tree. Who got stuck in a death loop? Like river or leaf phoenix. Or apple paltrow. Then it's not paltrow, is it? It's she took the. Uh... No, never mind. Paltrow seems like the kind of cunt that would fucking force her daughter to take her name. Eh, I don't know. I don't care. Who was the... Who did she... Um... It was fucking... the guy from Matchbox 20? No, no. It was Coldplay, wasn't it? Coldplay, yeah. <laughs> Can't even remember his name, though. Adam Levine? Yes. Apple... <laughs> Apple Levine. <laughs> the daughter's so, name. It's like Avril Levine. <laughs> <laughs> How oh did Avril Lavigne come up again? Like, th she <laughs> came up in our last stream. Yep, and I just talked about Avril Lavigne the other day because I was playing a, a, a Burnout Paradise. I had my... It, I didn't do it on the recent... On the, the reboot of... Or remake of Burnout Paradise, but the... Uh, on the old one that I had on PS3, I had it so that it only played her song over and over and over again while I would play it. <laughs> do you remember what that... What that um, entire game gave us, right? The uh, PlayStation Radio. Yep, the entire beginnings of our streaming services. It's the impetus of our podcasting lifestyle. Yes. Yes, lifestyle. Deal with we it. We never looked back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a bunch of water over there. I know. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. I cut him free. Alright, let's time back up. Just Do I? Running off. Do I have horse shit for brains? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that looked terrible. You just ran off into the distance after him. <laughs> Why would that look terrible, though? Because <clears throat> it was you horse shit. You got horse shit for brains. Oh, do I? And then it's just a foot <laughs> chase off into the distance. <laughs> I lassoed him. Stop screaming for help. You're summoning witnesses. There. Left him in the ocean. How do I throw? How do I pick him up and then throw him? You hold square instead of just tapping square. Yeah, that's what I thought. He doesn't throw him very far, but he got him out far enough to be completely underwater and 
He's gonna die soon. You throws them far enough where you could throw somebody off a cliff if you wanted to. Yeah, when you're at a cliff, you hit, you hold it yeah. down, or it'll throw them off. He died. He did. I say you, he did. <laughs> Damn, how much farther did you get? Did you run? I didn't run. I just walked the whole time. You fucking liar. No, I didn't. You could check the tape. I didn't stab him 14 times. I stabbed him 9 times. Check the tape. Alright. Now we're gonna head to Rude's. All right, I will get my, I will get my my outfit on then. Oh no, what's your Rhodes outfit? It's just my 49er gear again, since it's a, uh, since it's kind of like a ranch. All right, I can dig it. Can you dig it? I got cats. No. Oh, I got Jesus. cats on Plex. I might watch it You're tonight. You're just. You are just out to ruin my entire weekend, aren't you? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I, that's why I was like, watch out for that. Cats. Jesus Christ. You know, and I understand that if we had Fuck You Friday, this is the first goddamn thing you'd have me watch. No, I would go with the, uh, with Bad Lieutenant Port of Call New Orleans. <laughs> Cause that one I genuinely enjoyed. It was awful, but I really liked it. Like there's a part second where, time you brought that up in this one stream, and we haven't been doing this very long. There's a part where a woman walks into a room, right, and the door the door slowly closes, and from behind the door, Nicolas Cage is standing there with an electric razor shaving his face. <laughs> and then there's an old lady with oxygen and he pinches off her oxygen and won't let her breathe until he gets his information and then he calls her a stupid old cut and pulls a gun on her <laughs> it's very Nicolas Cage it's it's really good how like what how would you rate that in relation to the fan the fan or, the, no, Travolta the one? fanatic the fanatic, yeah. The there fan was Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes. And Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one where uh, where they get the the final kill, where they finally uh, where he finally kills the bad guy. Is he uh, does a full uh, full wind up pitcher throw with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fan. Oh. <laughs> Those are fucking amazing times. Um, but I think I would, I would rather watch the fanatic again, because of how it's just, it's it's bizarre. Like they're both bizarre, but it's a different kind of biz like John Travolta running around basically playing a retarded person when I'm not entirely sure he was supposed to be playing a retarded person. And then uh, what is it? Uh, uh, what what's how did I forget his name? We talked about him in the last stream. Devin Sawa. Fred Durst? No, oh. Devin Sawa. <laughs> Devin Sawa driving down the street with his kid in the passenger seat next to him going, Oh, you guys, you, you ever listen to this? And he turns the radio up and it's Limp Biscuit. He goes, Yeah, oh, we used no. to love Limp Biscuit back in the day. Yeah, Limp Biscuit was so awesome. <laughs> Come on, Fred. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Have a little bit of transparency. <laughs> It's for if you don't know that Fred Durst uh, made that movie, that scene would just be a what? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they sucking Limp Biscuit's dog so much in this movie? You think, oh well, the uh, the the director he's probably a Limp Biscuit fan, and then you go look it up, and oh, <laughs> <laughs> like that explains the uh, the the sheer amount, of, like the four pages of dialogue talking about Fred Durst's enormous dick. <laughs> It was cut. It was cut from the movie. <laughs> the dick was cut? Yeah, I know. It, that was page three. They talked about how it was cut. <laughs> oh, Lord. Don't bring him into this. You mean her? Yeah, Alanis. I like that they referenced that Alanis Morissette was a, was a female. They didn't <laughs> just... Well, I... <laughs> Okay, even 
because your brain fills in the rest. Like, yeah, it got. Oh wait, no, he said a lot of some words. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, all of that did happen in their timeline. It did. It really did. Uh, that Loki bit was pretty awesome, though. Yeah, it was neat. It, it, I hate that they never went back to it, but it was fun. <laughs> Bortlebore. Why no Bortlebore? Ah, she's got the seam again! <laughs> <laughs> she's got the what? The seam! <laughs> It tickles. Sack. Ball bag. He doesn't have a seam on his. Most normal men don't. <laughs> your your seam got taken off when you put your uh, when you put your balls on the foot massager at the Alameda County Fairgrounds and it tore it open. <laughs> No, there's a, there's a seam. That's where God <laughs> that sounds me like up. you're walking back now. Now that I've exposed the <laughs> issue, that I'm like, you're like, <laughs> no, no, there's there's a seam. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you know how people on the internet are; they believe everything they hear. But you know what? If you are known as the dude that has no scene because you had a traumatic ball incident, nobody's gonna like make fun of you because you still have balls. The seam got worn off in a uh, in a power sander incident. <laughs> a belt sander. <laughs> I ground that seam the fuck down, man. We we ain't having none of that. Uh, I just watched somebody do a like draw with a 3D pen a Sonic the Hedgehog thing and this fucker had like wiring in it and he wired like LED lights into it and it's like I all through the 3D know. or just like the the pen went over that or was that did was he able to do that with the pen he did the whole full body figure and then he used like a hot one of those hot wood carving knives to cut parts mm. of it open and then stick the, uh, the the pieces into that huh. thing that he made. That sounds like a lot of work. It sounds like an immense amount of work. And yeah, it's like Especially when ones, at the end of the day, see... you just got a Sonic the Hedgehog. Exactly. And it, all it did was light up its eyes and its, um, and its little... Uh... Hang on. I'm checking on Vomit. <laughs> I'm on Vomit Watch. Um, but yeah, and little sparks coming out of him like he's going Super Saiyan or supersonic speed or whatever. Fucking, I don't care. Super it was still pretty interesting to see how they actually draw. Yeah, no, because yeah, watching people making shit with those pens is it's a uh, you you just stare. You can't take your eyes off of it. It's not something worthwhile, but you can't stop watching. Exactly. It's one of the, it's like the restoring the um the old rusted things. Yeah, exactly. It puts you in a it just puts you in a place. It's nice to see someone do doing something. Um speaking of which, there's these two people in Singapore that carve out these fucking elaborate little uh, hidden houses and and uh, little swimming paths and shit like a lap pool and stuff. And it's really interesting and they carve this shit out in like 2 or 3 days and it's fucking impressive. Wow. Like out of just... Like what? they'll take a machete and a uh -huh. couple of sticks and like a pot to mix stuff in. And from just using everything around them in the jungle, they build these elaborate little huts or these That's hidden cool. little hideaways and shit. No, don't bring that up. That's really cool. And I'm like, they're, di they're digging with machetes. So they're just hacking like, at the ground. Yeah, hacking at the ground and, like, pulling at it and, like, just jab it into the side of shit and then just, like, oh, we'll smooth it out now. Yeah, and it and probably then they comes get... out perfectly flush, perfectly yep. plum. Plum. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'll send you the link to those guys because they're fucking impressive. Do they have... It really makes you feel like a hot piece of dog shit for not even being able to, like, build one with regular materials. And these people are, like, d digging holes that look be better than your place. And it's like, what the fuck? Hey, I could dig a good hole. 
Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to. Would you? Would you know which uh, clay to mix to make a nice little burnt sienna to <laughs> to decorate your fucking windows with? Burnt sienna. Remember when burnt sienna was called Indian brown? Yeah. <laughs> That's how old we are, folks. Back when Crayola was still racist. <laughs> And I'm sure people are going to, like, find an old crayon like that that says that and go, like, oh, my God, this is like a Mandela effect. It's like, no, that's cheapening the real Mandela effect shit. Uh-huh. This that's is just, just how it Crayola was. being racist. This is just a reminder that the world was a very racist place for a very long time. It was. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, but we don't call our burnt Santa crayons Indian red or Indian. Is it Indian brown or Indian red? I can't remember now. Whatever it was. We don't call them that anymore, so we're taking some steps in the right directions, right? Hey, look, it's not raining anymore. It was pouring in that one little spot back there. No, I'm still getting rained on, so... It's still raining. (laughs) It's still raining, but it was pouring right back there, through that little gap that we walked through. (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Should I put on my coat? Come here, horse. I'm going to put on my coat. Put on your pants and don't jacket. Um, his clothes aren't changing. Oh, whatever. It's not necessary. It's not like he's gonna catch a cold. He might. I changed my clothing. I ain't gonna. I got the uh, fur cap on. Yeah. It see? stores all the You're warmth fine. in my head. <laughs> Uh, from yeah. Seinfeld. Um, what was I going to say? Something we were just talking about. Devin Sawa? Devin Sawa, yes. Because <laughs> he said Devin Sawa. I, it, your ball sack was incidental. <laughs> you got a incidental ass ball sack, woman. <laughs> Her ball sack, hell, incidental. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm continuing the riff. <laughs> yeah, I haven't said a word. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> the gauntlet has been lain. She's got a seat, nigga. <laughs> you ground yours the fuck down. <laughs> now what's up? <laughs> hey, mine's smooth. I ain't got to worry about shaving no more. You're like, I don't ain't got no wrinkles. My, my shit's clean as a daisy. <laughs> I'm sorry, ironing your nut sack is a funny fucking visual. I keep <laughs> thinking about the... <laughs> the logistics of that and just hoist it up on that little rack. Just it seems s- like, yeah, it seems like something that you would see on like a, uh, like one of those weird old yeah. porno cartoons that they used to make in the 20s. <laughs> yes. Someone would pull out their ball sack and just iron it down like they're getting ready for a date. Oh, hang on. Oh, two things over here. Ain't no fangs. There's two fangs. Ain't no fangs. Hey, I see something over there. I want to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, God's light is shining down upon everybody over in the west over there. It's mine. Seven of wands. I thought it said seven of nine. <laughs> you witch. She's in the, the new Star Trek. Picard? Everything I've heard about it sounds awful, but then every person that I see talking about it says it's so awesome. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. Our actual Space Force takes the logo of Starfleet. And yes. then Picard drops the other day. And it looks and sounds fucking terrible, but the fucking Trekkies are like, it's so great, it's so awesome. 
Yeah, well, that, yeah, pretty much. Now, did they think that that like okay, what's the consensus among Star Trek fans that think like Rich Evans and Mike Staclasa? It's it's all about the age group thing too with them. Like really? Mike, yeah, Mike and Rich are pretty pretty on par with the people of their age group with that. Except like Mike, they tend to be a lot more forgiving with bad shit and stuff. Well, not Rich, Mike does. Tends to be mm-hmm. a lot more forgiving with the bad shit that happens in Star Trek simply because it's Star Trek. Like, he forgives a lot of really awful shit in Discovery because it's it's Star Trek. You see, that's what I was going to make the point of, is like, is it Discovery bad? Because Discovery sounded terrible. I don't know, I haven't watched it. I don't have the, uh, I don't have the CBS no more. Oh, okay. Was Discovery the thing that stopped it? Uh, yeah, because I get it for Big Brother, and I kept it because uh, <laughs> Discovery was coming on. You got a, a horse and wagon right behind you. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, and I kept it for Discovery, and I watched the first two episodes of Discovery, and then I canceled it. And then I got it again for uh, for the next season of Big Brother, but then I... Uh, and I thought, hey, Picard's coming. Maybe I'll keep on, hold on to it to that for that. And then I remembered, that's right. With Discovery, I just got rid of it after an episode. So why waste any money, right? Yeah, especially when you know downloads will be available. Exactly. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go skip <clears throat> through these flowers. I love when people are like, you know, here's all my, uh, here's all the different streaming services I have to, uh, you know, sign up for because I want such and such. Cutting the cord was supposed to be cheaper, and I look at their list, and it's like, you got the New Japan World. It's like none of that would have been included in your fucking cable package. Yeah, so it's stuff that up. you wouldn't have gotten on. You wouldn't have had that otherwise. Exactly. You're making a choice to add that extra shit onto it. So don't fucking be like, oh, this is supposed to be cheaper. One. And the thing about it is, if you take everything that they wanted, and you put, like, you take the different things that they have for their, you know, their uh, their streaming services, you take all those, and then you compare it to what they would have had to get on cable, it is cheaper. It's significantly it, cheaper. Yes. I understand with technology being boosted and whatnot, like DVR systems, how there's equipment rental fees that are that are a lot more pricey these days. Mm-hmm. But if you are on a dying type of platform, how about you not try try to price hike every fucking chance you get? Exactly. And the, that's the only thing that cable is good for for someone like me is for live sports. It's the only way that I can watch my live, boring-ass baseball. And cable sometimes doesn't even have the same channels across all fucking different services. Exactly. But you know what did have... I was able to get live sports with was PlayStation Now. But their prices skyrocketed after the first few months. And then didn't they just fucking stop their service? They just announced that they were going to stop the service. Uh, PlayStation, what is it? Now? View. PlayStation View. Now is the... uh, Now is the streaming, the gaming one, The streaming game one, yeah. Is that still going strong? Yes, I actually have that. I bought a... I got a year of it for a discounted price about six months ago. I re- very rarely use it, so I'm, I'm not going to be getting it back. <laughs> okay. So it's it's nice, but not worth it. It's nice. It's good for a small, a short amount of time to, you know, get to test out a few new games. But for me, no, it wasn't worth it. I have I have the uh, Games Pass on Xbox, which I like that one much, much more. It's not streaming. You download the games onto your console and play them like that. Oh, and that new Xbox looks like garbage. Yeah, they all do. The only, the only, uh, the only good thing about any of them is it looks that looks like a square Alexa. Like the Xbox, they're making yeah. it so you don't have to actually have an Xbox to be able to play the Xbox games. 
And see, I would much prefer the PS5, what is that, the dev kit? I yeah. want that to be the final design of the fucking PS5. Yeah, I know. I thought it was I thought it looked awesome. It looked like a weird like like if you like something out of Tron from the from the Tron remakes or the Tron sequels that came out like what is it 10 years ago now? Yeah. They, it looked like something out of that and I thought it looked awesome. But that's oh. not what it's going to look like. It's going to look completely different. It's going to look like a box. Oh shit, roads. Are we in roads already? That's roads, roads right there, are, huh? Yep, up in the distance. Up yonder. A lot of traffic over here. Jesus. Well, Jesus. we're heading into a, we're heading into civilization. We've spent a good portion of this out in the wilderness. <laughs> out in the desert and in the mountains. <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. There's a cloud up there that looks like it's giving us a thumbs up. You see it? <laughs> Sir. I'll and then say this yes. one looks like the yellow submarine. It's a cloudy day. Evening. Excuse me. It's a cloudy evening. Oh no. Someone's Scarlet coming up on Meadows. us. Who's that? What's that coming up on us over there? Yeah. That's oh, what I Jesus thought. Christ. <laughs> I'm pressing charges, goddammit. He's from the Sons of Satan. What a badass. <laughs> see, it's the second, the second we got back into civilization. You see that shit? <laughs> <laughs> this whole damn game. This whole time, damn it. Where are you now? I'm on the road. The road to Damascus? Wait, I, I, I look guess. At the map. Okay, I'm just cutting across. I'm not following this road. I'm cutting across straight into roads. Okay, because I it put me outside of roads on the other side, I think. Yeah, I'm right near where you are. It put me way the fuck out here. I hate that. I hate that my horse is critically injured by another player. Insurance will take care of it, but it'll be some time before you can have it back. Fuck you! My insurance should Yeah, it should make them pay for it like GTA does. Alright, I'm over here by the, uh... Oh, I see you. Okay. Fast travel I'm just sign. Gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna cut right up through. And you parlayed, right? So I believe I, I be did. Killed. Okay. I uh, it brought up the thing that said you suggested a parlay. I hit start and I hit X. I'm pretty sure okay. I parlayed. Let's go see if I can sell something to this butcher. Can I help you? Make sure you're not trying to sell it to the blade or the bunny. Oh, look! It's my other. No, this ain't Walter Elias. Who the fuck is this? That's your scrawny nag. Says Walter Elias. That sure as shit ain't Walter Elias. <laughs> Walter Elias. It's Walt Disney's name. He's named after Walt Disney. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Now, what was the next stop after Herod's offer from Rockstar? What is that? Free, honor change. I don't want to change my honor at the moment. Five gold bars off. Get five gold bars off Outlaw Pass number two. So they're offering me that now when I've already spent my my money. Maybe it'll don't... refund it to you. Yeah, I don't have... No, because I spent on becoming a uh, thing, so I don't have the money for uh, Outlaw Pass yet. Oh, wait, I was looking gotcha. at where our next stop is. Where's our next stop? We're in Roads. we got to go to Braithwaite Manor. 
I'm so I'm so glad that that dude decided to kill two innocent pedestrians for no fucking reason. Because it's a. Uh... There we go. Heading towards Braithwaite Manor. It's because well, it's a Rockstar game. That's just how it is. Walter Elias. What was your horse's name? Chris Isaacs? <laughs> it's, it's, it's Raven Morrissey Montague. Montague? Capulet. Capulet? Dead. Oh, horse shit. Step through the horse shit. Now, what was the, uh, what was, god damn it, how can I not remember Garth Brooks? <laughs> Chris Gaines. Chris Gaines, there it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Get the fuck away from me, you scrawny nag. <laughs> how do I tell it to go away? Uh, you L2 it, and then circle. Okay, I had my thing out, so the... So the thing wasn't coming up. I had my lamp out. Your lantern. My lantern. Your Mary <sighs> Kay Laterno. Mary Kay Laterno. You remember who that was, right? That's didn't she fuck a little boy? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I guess if that's how you want to fucking put it. Well, that's what it is, right? Mary Kay Letourneau had sex with yes. that, that Samoan child. <laughs> wow. Didn't they get happily married? Aren't they happily married now? I believe so. It's, it's really a Cinderella story. Well, you see that there's other fucking traffic, right? You piece of shit. Move already! Get the fuck out of the way! God, and people say today's drivers are fucking pissy. Yeah, imagine back then when you could just pull out a gun and kill someone and no one would know that it was you who did it. Like Jaleel White. Did Jaleel White ever do that? You no, know, he played fucking Bath Reeves in A Drunk History. <sighs> I think Stefan Urkel did that once. What? Stabbed somebody on Christmas like Screech? That is the gift that will keep on giving. The fact that Dustin Diamond stabbed somebody on Christmas. I guess. I mean, I don't think I've ever gotten anything from it. I've gotten jollies. Just from the idea that that's what happened? Yeah, think of it. Like, think of Dustin Diamond. Jewish. But don't think of Dustin Diamond now. Who's think of guy? Dustin Diamond. Oh, think of Dustin Diamond um, in, like, the second year, like, right out of um, Good Morning, Miss Bliss. Okay, when he looks like a, he, when he looks like he's 13. And he's dressed as Santa, just stabbing niggers in a bar. <laughs> Why did it have to be niggers? <laughs> well, it, 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 Screech always came across as a bit racist. Remember his um, him helping Zack with his Native American uh, <laughs> his presentation? Oh, yeah, when he had the full headdress on, the yes. face paint. Yes, it's I remember. It's pretty fucking clear that Screech is a racist and he would target black people for stabbing. I just need to make it clear that I... Did not watch Saved by the Bell. I've only seen bits and pieces that you have shown me. And it's terrible because you're missing out on so much. I've tried to watch more. I just can't. You're over there telling me, like, trying to uh, spin me a, 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 a fable about how great Nicolas Cage is in this dumbass fucking movie you just watched. Hey, it's a <laughs> Werner Herzog movie, quietly... goddammit. Where he's quietly shaving his face with an electric razor behind a door somewhere. It's because with that, my idea behind how that happened 
I don't think that it... I guarantee you it wasn't in the script that he was going to do that. I bet that it was his idea. He said, oh, why don't I have a... Why don't I have a <laughs> thing and I shave my face behind the door? But Werner Herzog said, no, I don't know about that. And so later, when they were shooting it, the door opens and he's just there shaving his face with the thing. And Werner <laughs> Herzog's like, oh, I love it so much. We are going to keep it. Nicholas Cage is brilliant. <laughs> That's a brilliant man. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. You're not allowed to impersonate Werner Herzog? No. He made Grizzly Man. Grizzly Adams? Grizzly Man, the one about the gay guy who wanted to shake off his gayness by taking his girlfriend into the woods and getting eaten by bears. I know. I Is it wrong that I want to fucking see and listen to the footage? No, because the way they the way that he teases it in that movie, it makes you want to hear it. Exactly, he's a fucking he's a dick for that. Yeah, he's an absolute asshole for like we've got this, we've got it, and then it gets to the end, and it's like, oh, she she destroyed it. <laughs> Nicholas Cage came in and he just he just shaved his face for twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he would not stop. He would not stop shaving his face. <laughs> he, he antagonized <laughs> Bear into eating him. That wasn't Nicolas Cage, though, Werner. That was Timothy. No, he showed up on set. He made Nicholas made Bear eat other men. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, if Nicolas Cage showed up on set, I would think he would antagonize bears into fucking fighting some people. Have you ever seen his uh, his tomb? Nicholas Cage's? Yeah. No. Yeah, he, he has a tomb that he bought that's in New Orleans that when he dies he's going to be buried in it. And it's just a giant, it's a big white pyramid. Doesn't he, he used to own a castle too, right? He did used to own a castle. I don't know if he still does. He used to have, uh, he used to own, uh, it's one of my favorite Nick Cage stories. He had, uh, Detective Comics number one and Action Comics number one and he had them framed on his wall. And uh, someone, one of his housekeepers, he never found out which one, put uh, printed out replacement covers and replaced them in there and stole them. Wow. That's like $500,000 worth of comic books. And people blamed him. They're like, well, you shouldn't have had it hanging on his wall. No. I mean, it's his wall. At least keep it in your man cave where you're going to be the only one that cleans it. Yeah. It shouldn't, like, he, he trusted someone a little too much, clearly, but... <laughs> like his fucking financers? Wasn't he caught up in the Madoff shit? He might have been. That's how he could afford his, him some, uh, afford him some, some castles. Well, he's a Coppola. Yeah, but so is Sophia. You mean Miss Overrated? Yes. <coughs> All right. Now, this, this waypoint that I did, said. She um, did Lost in Translation, correct? She did. That wasn't bad. No, I like Lost in Translation. This takes us here. I want to go to the actual house. So okay. let's keep walking to the house. <coughs> Wait, but that's the house over there. What did I just set a waypoint to? I think I set a waypoint to the slave quarters. Let's just walk over to the house. I'll get rid of these. Uh, this waypoint. Yeah, Lost in Translation I like. She did the Virgin Suicides, and... Did she do that 13 movie? No, that was, uh, that, was that, <laughs> other, that other broad. Evan Rachel Wood. Yeah, but she didn't make the movie. Evan Rachel Wood. Say, go ahead, you can say it again. Uh, I'd like to cook her on my Rachel Lee. My Evan Rachel. <laughs> Rachel Lee Cook. Whatever happened to Rachel Lee Cook? Did she do anything <laughs> after that movie that you and that other dude went to go see on Valentine's Day? Fucking Sinister 2, I think. Was she in Sinister 2? 
I think so. I don't think I ever saw part two. You know what? I don't think it's Evan Rachel Wood. I think it's the different chick that was in a Freddie Prince Jr. movie that I'm thinking of that was in Sinister 2. A who? A what movie? <laughs> a Freddie Prince. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Wrestling. Mr. Monday Night Raw. Was he on Monday Night Raw? Yeah, he was a guest host, and he was a writer at a certain point. Oh, that's right. Okay, I was thinking of, uh, was it Mario Lopez, who was on the that one episode of Raw? <laughs> it was like I the, don't know. It was like the first episode, he was advertising Pacific Blue. No, oh, I'm Jesus. getting that. Don't get that. That's for me to get. So are you planning this? to rob this place? Can we? Oh, well, let me go inside. Let me see. Oh, this guy's packing heat. Who? This guy standing at the door here. Oh yeah, we can rob the place. You gonna... <laughs> he did. <laughs> I say you, he did. Oh no, that didn't go out the door. Oh god. Ah, it killed me. Jen godly <laughs> killed themselves. I tried to throw dynamite at someone and I missed I missed the door <laughs> and it just landed right in front of me. Alright, let's see. Sinister two. <laughs> you, you died perfectly too. Your face is up against this wall. This lady's name has way too many S's in it. Shannon so so salmon s h a n n y n s o s s a m o n she has more too many n's too Shannon so Shannon so Shannon so Shannon Shannon uh Robert Daniel Sloan is that a boy I thought it was a little girl from Lee what? Coco this is from uh Sinister Two John Beasley I'm trying to find who you thought might have been Rachel Lee Cook. I ain't seeing no one. Well, I know it's not Rachel Lee Cook, for one. Let's see what Rachel Lee Cook has been up to. Her known for is She's All That. <laughs> <laughs> Actress. Oh, God damn it! and my phone's dead. She's on <sighs> Criminal Minds. In one episode, she was in a Blue Mount, a Blue Ridge Mountain Christmas. <coughs> Star Wars: The Old Republic. She did additional voices. Robot Chicken. She did a butt ton of voices on here for 15 episodes. Yes, that I knew. Um, Tifa Lockhart from the English version of *The City of Final Fantasy*. Uh -huh. And World of Final Fantasy, so I'm assuming she's in Final Fantasy VII, the uh, remake. Eight. Make me eat canned salmon. It's my favorite Final Fantasy. Well, not my favorite, but I like it a lot. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, now tell me who the top build star in Sinister Two was. Well, I'll have to go back, but hold on. There's literally no. nothing of note that this that Ra she's done a lot, but it's a lot of nothing. Yeah. Like the closest thing here, she was in Nancy Drew in 2007, which that oh was God. the the Emma Roberts vehicle. English voices in Yakuza. I didn't know they had English voices in the original Yakuza. Alright, I'm waiting for the next waypoint. I'm still looking through all this nothing. It's, a, it's astounding. She was in Get Carter. She played Doreen. So much nothing. Yeah, literally the only thing of note that she's ever been in. I guess she was in Tom and Huck. She played Becky Thatcher. But that's not really of note, now is it? No, it really isn't. That's the one with... Uh, with uh, JTT and uh, Brad Renfro. I'm sorry. 
There's only one JT. JTT. I know. There's only one JT. Okay, where are you now? Let me go find you. Are you talking about JT from... from JT Lambert. Step by step? <coughs> the JT's world. Yeah, it was like Wayne's world. What? It. No, it was totally different. <laughs> Legally distinct. I get it. Rachel Lee Cook was in nothing. How do we know her name so well? That looked like Muse. I asked you a Before question. Before you put it closer to me, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, okay, so my question was in Sinister 2. No, I asked you a question. No. Hang okay. on, my question to you is in <laughs> Sinister 2, who is the top build bitch and who is the top build dude? Because the top build dude was in It Chapter 2. Okay. Sinister 2. Top build gentleman was James Ransone. And does that look familiar from It Chapter 2? No. But I don't I watched It Chapter 2. Okay, he played Eddie the adult Eddie. He, okay. He's not familiar because I only saw the It Chapter 2 the one time. Now and the then the woman bitch. Is the woman, the, the nice young lady <laughs> Is yeah, the brunette bitch. Shayna Sosaman. What, what was her name? Shayna Sosaman. Mm-hmm. And I know she... what Freddie Prince Jr. movie was she in? I, I can't... I'm, I'm not going to cross-reference, but I'll just read these things off and you tell me which one sounds right. We got High Holiday, The Jesuit, The Hour After Westerly, Ghost Light, Wayward Pines, Sleepy Hollow... Sinister 2, Over the Garden Wall, Stealing Time, Mistress, Desire, The End of Love, The Cyclist, The Day, Beastie Boys, Fight for Your Right Revisited, <laughs> Man Without a Head, Road to Nowhere, How to Make It in America, Our Family Wedding, Jerry, The Heavy, Life is Hot in Cracktown, Moonlight, One Missed Call, Catacombs, <clears throat> Dirt, The Holiday, Wrist Cutters, A Love Story. Chasing Ghosts, Undiscovered, The Double, Devour. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, I Hate You, The Order, Holy Moses. Hang on, Rules The Order with Anthony Hopkins? No, this looks okay. like a different The Order. This is The Order with Heath Ledger. Okay. I didn't Continue. know there was some The Order with Heath Ledger. All right. Holy Moses, The Rules of Attraction, 40 Days and 40 Nights. 40 Days and 40 Nights is the one I was thinking of. That's the one with Freddie Prince Jr., I think. She was also in Corn, Make Me Bad. Yes, that Mr. I know. Mr. Show with Bob and David. She played fashion model, girl, and trophy presenter in three different episodes. I always liked her when she was in 40 Days and 40 Nights, like that era of her life, because she had really weird... Um, like sideburn things for a chick made her look feral like um what was that fucking x-men or x-force character wolfsbane yes it reminded me of fucking wolfsbane wow you're way the fuck over there i better run to catch up i got blowed up by some dynamites i gotta eat well, thank some you beef 40 days and 40 nights was it my pleasure that was gonna drive me nuts pleasure. But you could see how her general overall look just Yeah, not no, the, I, uh, I totally get it. It's the only thing different between the two is Rachel Lee Cook has sprite eyes. She looks like, like a, fairy yeah, a fairy person. A fairy person. This other one looks like a, a, a wolf woman. A wolf. A wolf of woman. <laughs> I finally just got to see Aubrey Plaza play fucking Cleopatra in that Drunk History. And she really fucking turned that up to 11, didn't she? I have not seen that yet. It's oh, look, I can funny. ride your horse now. <laughs> <laughs> Should buck you off of it, goddammit, whenever I whistle. Give you the old Christopher Reeves. All right, 
right, where'd you go? I'm just on the road here. You're keeping along the path. Yep, starring Aaron Paul. I've said it about ten times, waiting for you to respond that way, and it didn't happen. And now it did. <laughs> uh, I'm keeping you on, on, on I'm going to throw some dynamite else. into this field over here. Into that what? Fields! Ah, boom! <laughs> I wish I had some dynamite in real life. <laughs> to just throw into a field? <clears throat> no. Just to carry around. Hey, stop walking running past me. <coughs> okay, so we hit Braithwaite. Yeah, now Are we're we... headed towards Caliga Hall. All right, so that's by San Denis, correct? Yes, and then our next stop after that is around the back of San Denis. Remember, we got to stop in at the uh, portrait studio. Uh, do I look like someone that wants to stand still for 25 minutes getting my picture taken? <laughs> no, you look like the man that wants to spend eight fucking hours walking across <laughs> a fucking virtual map of the Wild West. <laughs> Sounds more, sounds more excited. There's more to do in this than there would be standing there to get a picture taken. We literally got killed only one time. Well, no. We got killed multiple times because of you. Well, yeah, but, but... I mean with other players. Yes. Yeah, us getting killed by the, by the NPCs, that's a different story. That's something that you should have known and understood was going to happen. Oh yes, I, I fully expect it. And if we ever do the pedestrian walk in um oh. What happened? <laughs> Shockwave got him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just concussed them both. They're out. They're out fucking cold. That's a, a pedestrian walk in Grand Theft Auto will be ex it will be exceptionally more hard because of the the amount, like, how... The amount of griefers in that game. Like, they're... They can see you on the map at all times. No, yeah, but we can get in a posse together and, like, we can do this in a in a private lobby. Good. Yeah, we could. And, you know, just put, pointing our fingers at the, uh... <laughs> at the walk button <laughs> at every street corner. That's gonna be the griefing, and that's gonna be done to ourselves. Uh-huh. That's but the yeah, other I figured one. we wouldn't do it in a public lobby. That would be yeah. fucking... Like, we're forced to here. So we gotta do a walk on that, and then we'll do... I think we have to do with that, we should also do a drive where you follow all the speed limits. All the posted speed limits and all the, uh, the lights and everything. You yeah. go by actual law. Like, if there's traffic, you gotta sit in traffic. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that and bird And you gotta hit there. landmarks. Like, you gotta go to the fucking... The, the... Epsilon building, and then you gotta go hit to... Hit the bird. And then you gotta go to, like, the, the docks. Yeah, you gotta make a bunch of stops. The boardwalk, yeah. <laughs> Those horses went full scorpion. <laughs> oh, that one is on fire. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a flamethrower. <laughs> the Old West flame. <laughs> if the one thing, if there's one thing the Old West is known for, it's its flamethrowers. Did they ever add uh, armor? Like, uh, piece together armor? <coughs> Not in this yet. <laughs> they did say they were going to, though, right? Well, they had a, a mode. They have a mode where you're completely armored, I think. Oh, hell. Jesus. <laughs> Good effort. I'm out of dynamite now. I wanted it to land <laughs> in the back of his thing. But he got away too quickly. That's all. I'm like, yeah, that's a good effort. Good try. Good hustle. Good hustle. That was Speaking a dynamite. good hustle, I got rid of my fucking MLB The Show game. I'm tired of it. That's it fair. only took five months, but I'm that's fucking fair. tired of it. 
That's <laughs> fair. I, I can dig it. Witness? Yeah, very true. What murder? We're a good half mile away from that murder. Hey, and that's a good segue. Speaking of wrestling... Who mentioned wrestling? A comely last number Who's two? that over there? Are they coming after us? Yeah, they're going the other way. Okay. Um, what about ladies wrestling? Ladies and gentlemen, what we have <laughs> planned for you next is, is something that ah. is sure to titillate. <laughs> <clears throat> And tantalize and, <laughs> and diddle, diddle all of your orifices, orify. Punch you in all your faces. <laughs> okay. I was talking sen sen sensual and you went violent, but you know, to each their own. Are that you saying that a, some... a good violent punch can't be sensual? I'm saying some people are, are into that. I'm, exactly. I'm not discounting those people. I'm saying I'm covering the. I'm covering the normies, and you're stepping up and covering the rest, as as it were. If we were to Gilligan's Island, this bitch. Gilligan's Island? I'm lost. They said the rest. So are they. <laughs> uh, it would have been funny if you said it. Uh, <coughs> uh, I didn't mean to run. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, but anyway, yes, we have something very, very exciting planned with Fire Pro World, Wrestling World, World of War, Legends, Warcraft, World of Careful spiders. with that guy up there, he just stopped and was looking at us. He just stopped? He stopped up the road up there and it looked like he pulled out a sniper <laughs> rifle and was looking at us. <laughs> I wonder if he's just watching to see what we're going to do. That's what I think he was probably doing, but better safe than sorry, right? Yeah. Thank you for the heads up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Is that a dead guy? What happened? Someone called oh. the police. Damn, that horse is taking him just, just running with it. <laughs> They're on an adventure now. That's what? like Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> not like Weekend at Bernie's Part 2? No, 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 nothing like that. I liked Weekend at Bernie's Part 2, thank you very much. Yeah, you also like fucking um, City Slickers too. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't revealed what we're going to be doing in No, Fire I know, Pro. that's why I haven't... Stop the world to let of, of war snipes. Do I have binoculars? Didn't I get binoculars? Fortnite. Oh, there's my binocular. My binox. Oh. Chanelloween. <laughs> hmm. I'm just happy to see Chanelloween. Oh, Comely it's... lass over here does not like <laughs> Chanelloween. Why not? I don't know. Chanelloween is great. You're right, Chanel. I am garbage. Love that. Yes, every, our entire listener base is curious why you dislike Chanelloween holiday. Bitch has better fucking decorations <laughs> and shit and, and all that fucked up shit than I ever can have. That's the point. She's better than everybody. Yeah, that's the whole reason that Chanelloween happened. That's, that's Chanel. That's Chanelloween. That's its existence. <laughs> she's no longer um, fucking. Uh, 
Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts, yeah, sorry. The rest of this show, I can see Emma Roberts still being in this. And this, this is just straight <laughs> fucking Chanel. Disgusting. Well, I mean, that's the character, that's right? Yeah. Character. I'm jealous of her shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay, but... That's you can easily go get a jar of mealworms. Sorry, mealworms. You could easily go do that and just give it to some homeless on the street, and you're essentially doing Chanel O'Neill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, like, that's the the the. It's the gist of it. It's not out of your reach. <laughs> yeah, everything just burn up. Just go get some cheap ass uh, meat. And just leave it outside for a while, and it'll get filled up with fly eggs and maggots and shit. And then you put that in the jar, and then, and then you, you go send give that it out. to Donald Trump. Send it to the president. Give him some disease. <laughs> no, 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 not the president. Wait till he's out of office. All send right. it to Donald Trump, civilian. But that's that the way thing. He can be like, oh, fantastic! My my Omaha steaks are here. <laughs> and then he eats it. He eats it without looking. He cooks it well done, and then puts ketchup on it. <laughs> and then eats it. Uh, it's a little bit more maggoty than I thought. <laughs> but that's the thing: is once you're president, you hold the title for the rest of your life. That's why the impeachment needs to stick. It has stuck. He is impeached. Yes, he is impeached. But if like, he's not removed from Clinton office, it will still always impeached. be. A, and yeah, he'll but... never be, he wasn't removed, and people always call him President Clinton still, and I'm like, that's not true. That's not accurate. <laughs> yeah. Why is this yeah. crime reported not going away? Oh, I think it's time for <laughs> Nene finally on her end. <sighs> mm-hmm. What's next? That was kind of, now we gotta go around the back of San Denis. <laughs> All right, well, since this is the last leg of the journey, let me go ahead and change the little one, and I will be right back. I will start walking. You can catch up. No, stay the fuck here. You're going to reach the end destination. No, because I, I literally have it. cops coming at me, right at me right no, now. No, now I do, too. God damn it. I am, Son of a bitch. I am just standing here. God damn. <laughs> I was just standing there. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> like, oh, I I'm killed sure. that guy miles back, and I, he, his horse dragged him out into the middle of nowhere, and there's absolutely no way that they could have discerned that I had done it, because it's the Old West, goddammit. Who's miles back? <laughs> That's what they call tails. <laughs> Gick. <laughs> so fucking stupid. I completely agree. It's absolutely <laughs> retarded. Gick. <laughs> Spell it. G I K K. There you go. Gick. Oh my god. I should be able to steal these people's uh, <laughs> tobacco. Just fucking kill me already. They got me in one shot. Pop me right in my brains. Hit me right in my face. Didn't even see it coming. Right in the pache. I'm taking just hit after hit after Fuck hit. Fuck you, now here. I'm wanted. <laughs> Get off me, ass crack. Okay, but I'm gonna go change her and lay her down, so. Um, okay, now please, no more shooting at people. I didn't <laughs> I shoot anybody! Right I was in a pause screen! You shot Miles Davis, you, you told me. <laughs> Miles Davis? Davies.
locked in. Hey. Did you get a play with baby shit? <laughs> she was actually dry. Oh, lucky. Saint Denis is foggy and dark. my outfit heading to sand and knee motherfucker get your horse out of the road oh that's me where are you at I'm still walking something just came out and spooked my horse is it a cougar I don't know Didn't look like some old broad. <laughs> Get it? Because colloquialisms. Oh my god, I'm hearing a buzzing in my headset. <clears throat> Is it sounding like this? Bzz, 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 no, bzz, it's bzz, like this. Bzz. Like. It's not really a buzzing. 
Well, but imagine if that sound I was making were a buzz. <laughs> so not that sound then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I'll tell you exactly what it sounded like, man. It sounded like, bum, blah, 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 blah. but not anything like that. Like really quiet. <laughs> All right, I'll wait here. Even though I'm not at the the last end of where I was walking, I just want to wait here because there's a trumpeter. I hear him on your end. You what? I hear him on your end. You proud of yourself? I better, I better eat some some canned salmon before I enter San Denis here. San Dennis, Saint Dennis, Saint Dennis. Saint mm, I love that. Uh, the, he's he's my favorite of the saints. Saint Dennis. <sighs> well, it's not spelled right. Dennis has two ends. You ain't gonna leave, are you, partner? You're gonna leave. I'm gonna have to pull a gun on you, and make you shoot, and make you uh, play that trumpet a little more. The trumpet. Oh nope, there he goes. Good. Canned salmon and candies. Cornwall Freight Tard. Cornwallis. General Cornwallis. I had to learn all about him because of my fucking comic. I thought that was a secret and you weren't trying to let people in the world know about it. Like, I can say I'm writing a comic and that I can say that I'm researching historical shit for it and not okay. worry Just about not give away any information of the story. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, crap. I'm making water. Oh, God. I got fresh tacos on a corn tortilla. Slapped my... She slapped me mushroom tip and it made me make water. Did it go drip, drip, drip? <clears throat> I didn't know she had that G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. What's this artificial light up here? That's, that's some fucking witchcraft, I'll tell you what. I tell you how. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why. You're getting there. You're getting there, bro. Wait, did we go over here? Yeah, because we went this way. We came back down and then up over here and then down back this way to get around here. That's the trail of our path. So we didn't get to the f no yeah we did because we went to Brandywine Drop didn't we yeah yeah so we did get up all the way the we got the four corners of the map in this walk we got the way down here in the southwest and then we hit way up here in the north and then we came way over here to the north East, and now we're down here in the Sea Elf. In the Sea Elf. The Sea Elf. <clears throat> this doctor that you're going to see works in the middle of a bait shop in a swamp. <laughs> don't don't start picking apart. <laughs> <laughs> don't pull the thread, man. The whole thing's gonna come undone. But I mean, that's where the final <laughs> destination is. Speaking of final destination... <laughs> Starring who? <laughs> Devin Sawa. Who else was in that one? In the first uh, one? Wasn't, uh, what's her name? The blonde girl. 
from Resident Evil. Yes. What is her name? Her name was Chick from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah. Allie Landry. Allie no. Larder. Allie Larder. Larder. Knew it was Allie. I knew it was a larder. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Hey, take it, read into it what you want. Alright, we are going to... There. Can you see my waypoint that I set on the map? Nope. I see... Really, you don't have a red marker? The red marker is my marker that's on the map. Uh, so you don't have a blue marker? I do not. I just I can see you on the map. I can see you walking. Well, I don't know if you're walking towards me, but I'm walking towards ish you. Yeah, you're right back there. I can see uh, like I can see the little blue spot on my uh, my little radar. Did Actually, you kill somebody recently? Nope. I've been standing that, that here. Horse, that carriage had no driver. Well, there Stop are horse. there are other people in this. <laughs> no, I didn't kill anybody. I'm chilling out listening to the music. Raven Morrissey. Chris Gaines. You know what? Before we leave this town, I'm going to go back to the, to the stable and rename this bitch. You need to look it up, though, and tell me how it's spelled. How what spelled? Chris Gaines? Mm hmm If he put any kind of weird, stupid emo shit to it, I, can, I don't Good remember. Good point, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> it's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> It's just him in a wig, goddammit! No, you are kidding me. He wasn't fooling anybody! He kinda looks like Trent Reznor. <laughs> yeah, it's Chris Gaines, it's how you would expect it to be spelled. <coughs> like Massive Gaines, brah? Chris Gaines, G-A-I-N-E-S. <laughs> You know what we should do in one of our next Comely Lad streams in this, uh, <laughs> in, in Red Dead? Hmm. The next time we decide to, to enter our personas in Red Dead again? Um, Jack the Ripper cosplay all throughout San Denis, just ripping fucking people left and right. Stabbing people, trying to get away with it? Yeah, trying to make Scotland Yard chase us down. Oi can dig it! You know Childish Gambino did a cover of Chris Gaines's Lost in You? I did not. Oh, here's our copyright strike. I knew it was bound to happen eventually. to it <laughs> <laughs> why uh, when I search okay I search Chris Gaines and at the top of the screen it has a little uh, possible search things on here and it's got Garth Brooks and Zoolander are my are the top two listed of what I could also be searching for that's weird <clears throat> where are you now I'm at the doctor getting my wang looked at Come, no, come to me. Uh, what do I look like? Someone who's constantly coming to people? Yes. <laughs> You're like John Waters in that regard. Here I come. I'm coming. It's like calming every day. Every just lifting the weights. It makes you feel like calming. It feels like calming. <laughs> I love that clip of him. <laughs> the whole movie is a pretty good movie. Especially considering how 
how how highly we think of Arnold Schwarzenegger nowadays. <laughs> he comes off as such a dickhead in that. I don't think very highly of Arnold these days. I don't. He's he's an actor. He does actor he's, things. He's a Republican actor that fucked California badly. Very true. But he says he doesn't like Donald Trump. So ah, my penis feels great. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I did the sweep of my camera over to show I came out of the doctors and it kind of just all settled into my brain. It's like, sorry. <laughs> like, my penis feels great. <laughs> like prescriptions and family medicines carefully prepared. All right, next stop. No, we got to go to the um, photo booth, remember? Yeah, uh, that's the next this... stop. No, I already put that as the next stop. Look at your map, you... bitch. That's the next yeah, stop. Yeah, I see that you just did it, but I had it first. I'm the leader of this posse. It. The hang on, the lion d'or. The, the lion d'or. The lion d'or. <laughs> it's a that's a new Louisiana accent. Sure. Hey, nice Rosie Oliver. Look at these guys. I complimented you, you asshole. What are you doing, Woodland Wood? This guy thinks he's Woodland Wood. <clears throat> well, that's kind of a state of being. You either are or you aren't Woodland Wood. I'm gonna put you for my business. You gonna? I accidentally unplugged. I heard. I noticed. Let me give this guy a big old thumbs up right in his face. <laughs> hey, he walked through my arm. <laughs> he didn't Portraits. like it. And that made him walk Get away. Portraits here. Portracios. That's how you say it in Italian. Portracios. Portracios. God, why is it way back here in this dank back <clears> alley? <throat> I feel like I'm gonna get raped. <laughs> Maybe, but okay. Um, Your horse is start... blocking the door. <laughs> I'm gonna start my posse really quick because I need to be posse leader for this. Pussy posse? Sure. Do I have to stop our posse? Possibly. I will. I get our lads most comely. Reform posse. Stand down. Stand down, comely cowboys. Alright, just invited you to the posse. Ugh. This is such a hassle. No, it isn't. Oh my god. Alright, so... <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Oh, I can't change. <clears throat> I can change I'm going to cycle expression. through my poses here, for, so hang on. Oh, that's right, because you get those special poses with the... Uh, Wheeler and Ross and Catalog. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of cool, but it's probably kind of pompous for me to be on that, so hang on. Oh, God. Oh, that's kind of cool. That would be cool if we had more comely lads. There's that fist, 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 fist buzzing again. 
Look at your lazy ass. Eh, I like sitting in the chair. Whoa! What were you doing? I'm just standing there. No, on my end, you didn't look like you were just standing there. Whoa. You could do that one before it and say you were taking a picture inside of your bar. True, but all of this is in the in the bar, in the tavern. No one would believe that <clears throat> you were able to afford a camera to put into your bar. Ooh. You want to be fancy lads at the shipyard? <laughs> <laughs> shut up. You shut up. You shut up. <laughs> Dick. Dick. Okay, Fucker. Homa. Alright, we're gonna do this one. So, yes, fancy lads at a shipyard. Yeah, that's fine. Can you change your expression? You can change your expression. I kinda like this one, where he looks like a pouty little boy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this mammy jamma. Give me a sec. This is my money I'm spending, so you shouldn't be. You there should be no hemming and hawing. We're supposed to be walking across a map, and this is commemorating it with a boat. Yes, I'm sure I want to post this to the social club. It's not that gay. What is your belt buckle? Is it Hal from a? Uh... <laughs> 2001 a Space Odyssey? Oh shit, it does look like that. That's like one of the top prizes from the Wheeler and Ross and stuff. What is it supposed to be? It's just a, uh, it's just, um, Ruby. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I like my gold oh. one. I do. I do like that. There are a bunch of different gold ones, but I like this one. This one is your own. There are many like it, but this is yours. Speaking of Kubrick... <sighs> I'm all smug in this one. <laughs> like that. <laughs> you should be able to, like, sit with your legs crossed or something. I should. That would be great. Your legs crossed and like a brandy in your hand. <laughs> just, just spinning it, not even sipping it. <laughs> well, you got to check the body. <laughs> you do. That's that's day one, bro. I do that any time I have a glass of wine. I tell people about how I'm, I look at the body. Look at the body. Look at how it drips down the side like that. It's got a strong body. I do that with soda, and people always yell at me, like, you're making it flat. <laughs> yeah, you're ruining it. <laughs> you gotta take a little tiny sip, swish it around in your mouth, and then spit it in a bucket. And then when people are like, why would you do that? Like, why would you do it with wine? It's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, I'm diabetic. <laughs> That's your excuse. I just like the taste. That's why Fred Durst claims that he likes pot. He likes the taste. He don't even smokes, but he likes the way it smells, and he likes the way it tastes. It does smell nice. I wish... Now, this last one, this other one over here... I wish it would have me, like, pointing. Like, onward, to Namek. <laughs> or they could have something over here so it looks like we're shooting at something. Yeah. Like a big, like, taxidermed buffalo or some shit. <clears throat> <laughs> that would be great. Holy shit. Rockstar, <laughs> come on. Taxidermy a buffalo for us. Come on. Come on. Come on, Toshi. 
Taxiderm dinosaur. Dude. Big ass penny. That's a Batman reference. Yep. Alright. What else? I want my bike! <laughs> Where's the one where you were sitting? Like a woman. There it is. Yeah, see, I got my legs crossed. How come there's no... like? Look at his... Look at my guy's face. <laughs> so indignant. Yeah, why didn't Rockstar ever fix the faces? Because that looks nothing like the face that I created. Yeah, neither does mine. <laughs> I think this is the last one. So hang on. Calm your tits, Daniel. He's not even changing the expression. Oh, wait, no, there you go. Uh, but I want that one back. <laughs> I couldn't make out anything but creepy old whore. <laughs> that was um, Care of a Vulcan. Tuvok? Kirsty Alley. Yeah, Tuvok. So, yes. Tuvok. Oh, what happened? Why am I floating? Are what you happened? floating? I'm standing there with my knees bent like a weirdo, and you're not <laughs> even there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Now I'm not in there anymore. All right, now you get to be posse leader again, and then let's finish our walk. That sounds like you're telling me what to do. It is. It is exactly what's happening. I work just as well. Is that Werner Herzog? No, it's a Jesuit priest. You think Werner Herzog isn't a Jesuit? Isn't he? I don't think so. See, that's Werner Herzog. I look forward to your return. Alright, let's get this shit on the road. That After counts as going around the back. picture taken. Now we gotta... Where was our next stop? I don't think I did anything extravagant at this point. This is... Well, I've already fixed my penis in this, in this town, so... Yeah. We're just going to the Graf for our bait purposes. I'm going up here to Blue Water Mosh. Where it is, that's where Soupy Sales comes from. Watch out, somebody on at our right. I see them. They're running around in the cemetery. Where'd your horse go? Back there somewhere. I guess people didn't take too kindly to him just standing at the fucking entrance of the photography place. He was too. He was standing right in the entranceway. Ooh, gallows. Where's Anderson? Can I hog tie you and then hang you? <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. That wasn't the right button. Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't die, did he? Not yet. Oh, Chris Gaines is a tough motherfucker. Oh wait, that's right, Chris Gaines. I need to change his name. Okay, where's the thing at? I'm gonna go run over to the the stable, and then okay. I'll meet you back at the gallows. Be right back. The gallows. Ho! Oh. I'm gonna go hide from the police. <laughs> I didn't press charges. They shouldn't be after you. This is my fucking horse. I am wanted for disturbing the peace. Oh, okay. 
Oh, not anymore. It went away once I went into the cemetery. Now I gotta find my way out of the stupid cemetery. Oh, cemetery's right behind the gallows. How about that? <laughs> shut up. You shut up. Not you. You shut up! Oh my god. Attention, ball lickers. Attention, Jesuits. I'm in the Stoblies. Stable. Put you up tight. I just want to put you up gentle. There you go. Talking to my hair, in case you were so, wondering. G A N E S or G A I N S? G A I N E S. Oh my god. Like Gainesville. Oh, how fucking beautiful is that? Is that what kind of horse he is? <clears throat> I'm gonna no, go jump in front of this thing, see if I can get a... Damn, your brakes are too good, I can't... I can't get a, uh, a lawsuit going. Wait, maybe... NOW! Oh, I got hit by a Cornwall train! <laughs> <laughs> I did, and it's got my blood right on the front of it. Alright, so this, um... I should this sue. waypoint is at the cemetery. You were saying, my the waypoint is our next stop. You were uh, let me uh, here. I'll put a waypoint on me. No, I didn't no, move. I'm good. I'll, I'll no. I'll, I see where you're at. I'll just go to where you're at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm on your way anyway. So just follow your waypoint. It should take you to me. Someone should change the name of Saint Denis to Saint Dentist. Oh my goodness. Like a Carpathian. I get it. Only a Carpathian. Alright. Back to walking. What are you talking about, guy? I don't even own a gun. <laughs> These are lighters on my back. Novelty lighters. Let's see if this guy gets out of my way. Damn right he is. You get out of the way! You're the one with the giant horse! <laughs> Chris Gaines. <laughs> I'm standing on it. Hey! Hey! Come on, guy! Oh my goodness. Oh, shit! Somebody force-pushed that wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that shit? No. <laughs> oh my god, fucking figure out whatever time code this is. You need to see somebody force-push the shit out of that wagon. I had a fucking. I saw your headshot. There was a gross amount of blood and fucking brains spurting out, and then they forced <laughs> pushed the wagon straight off the goddamn road. It wasn't a headshot. I had to take two shots. <clears throat> ah. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. 
<laughs> Aflac. He got fired from his job being the Aflac duck because he made some hilarious jokes about Japan after the tsunami. Ben Affleck was trying to be all quirky and be on a show about genealogy and he found out his family was slave owners. I mean, is it really a surprise at this point? Well, nobody from the East Coast, all of those beef-headed East Coasters, never surprises me. Beef-headed East Coasters. Click subscribe, everybody. Hit that like button. Especially you beef-headed East Coasters. <laughs> Especially you. You know how much you guys like that, that fucking torment in your lives? You guys in your, in your New York Jets? They like the sliced beef with cheese put on, a, put on a roll. And they say, ah, it's a Philadelphia thing. <laughs> hey, Philly, you didn't make up the idea of putting cheese on meat. Oh, shit, that's fighting words right there. They, they didn't. will fight people to death over that. Oh, I know. But they still will fight people. That's fine. They're in Philadelphia. Look at, look at those emissions from that factory over there. That smokestack. That uh, can't be good for the environment. I think anyone gave two shits about the environment back in? Back here? Back now? <laughs> back now, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, stop beating up the black people. I didn't beat him up, I just shoved him. <laughs> <laughs> bullying, still. You think they gave oh. a shit about bullying back now? <laughs> Which direction? Straight? Should be on your map. No, I mean... What? You don't feel that? No, I didn't feel anything. This black guy is still afraid of you. I'm clearly walking in the entire other direction. I put the fear of God in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he just never stops running like Forrest <laughs> Gump. He's just like, he's going to find me. <laughs> For the rest of his life. <laughs> the rest of his life, he's going to be running from a cowboy. He shoved somebody once, and they overreacted to the nth degree. And. 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 And there's a camp over there. There's a bunch of people at that camp over there. They're all running out. They might be coming after us right now. Because they're coming from all directions. <laughs> so, uh, this might be our first ambush. Nope. Nope. They just happened to leave that camp in different directions. <laughs> that You saw them leaving that camp on your radar, right? They oh, It looked yeah. like they were trying to come around us from all angles. That was pretty impressive. That's why I'm like, I'm I'm okay with a well planned ambush. Yeah, but since they didn't do that, it's not impressive at all because they didn't do that. Oh my god. I don't think he knows I'm riding in his thing. <laughs> Drive, motherfucker. I'll kill you. You hear me? I don't think he's in, he knows I'm in his thing. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, Jay and Randall calling the, uh, <laughs> prank calling, uh, who are they prank calling? Um, <laughs> oh shit, it was 911, wasn't it? It was a 911 call. Yeah, that's right, it was a 911 call on that fateful night. Hang on one sec. That guy can take a bunch of bullets.
Oh my god. Stop walking ahead of me. Oh, I'm gonna have to fucking stop again. Hang on. Now remember, watch out for snakes. It's an ego reference. Yeah. I haven't seen ego in years. I have it on DVD. Still. Well, it's an MS MST episode, right? Not just yeah. ego. It's got both, though. I loved it when Rhino Video did that. Uh-huh. Yeah, where well they put the, uh... Damn, that thing went flying! <laughs> that shot up into the air, that was cool. Did you shoot an arrow into the air? It fell to Earth you knew not where? Nope. Come on. None of that nonsense. You're from the East Coast, you love that fucking bullshit. Let's see, where's our next stop? Oh! Final, final part of the walk! Oh, no, I don't want first person. The Asians love walks. <clears throat> Alright. Now we're headed to the Lagra <laughs> Bait Shop. Your horse is kind of spooked because I touched its bum. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it would respond so awkwardly to a fingering. That motherfucker witnessed a murder? <laughs> For this last stretch here, ladies and gentlemen, I will use the cinematic camera. For your viewing pleasure. I won't because I don't like how I have to keep adjusting my uh, my 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 controller I will do it I will suffer through it for our our crowd's sake our audience's sake oops wrong button I still need you to direct me because I don't have my mini map anymore now do you need to get up front? Well, just keep walking on the path you're walking on. <clears throat> Starring Aaron Paul? Nope. He was an El Camino. Oh, no. Get back in there. My emo ass horse back there. There's a lot of blood all over that tree that you're walking past. Are you still in the cinematic? Yep. Keep in cinematic. How about you do something about it instead of sitting there going, ah, you piece of shit. <laughs> Can you whistle while I'm carrying you like that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I wonder if there's any gators. How does the uh, how does the cinematic camera work for you now? Is it following me? Yeah. I'm going through the trees right now. <clears throat> there any gators? No, not from the cinematic cam that I can see. Come on, Chris Gaines. You are straight up sinking in that mud. Dead. Did you die? Yep. Oh. I don't want you to die. How did you die? <laughs> in the mud. Well, I'm not gonna move, I'll let you catch up. Hey, no, don't run away, horse! I was gonna put a body on your... <sighs> no, no, my doppel body. I guess, yeah, looking at it over here, you sank into the, like... You hit the mud and you sank into it, and then the mud filled with water and drowned you. <laughs> dun dun dun. Are you still in cinematic? I, I'm going to now. <laughs> my dead Doppel's body all hogtied on the back of my horse. <clears throat> Hog what? Hogwarts? Hogtward? Horseport? Hornswoggle? My name... I just want you to know that somewhere deep in my heart this I cinematic still one is awesome. love I used you. This more. We should do a, a third walk. Listen to me, we should do a third walk in Red Dead across the map, only using cinematic camera. Maybe next year. Maybe we'll do that for next New Year's. See? This is, a, this is, an, an, this is an annual anal thing. Annual anal. Look at the mark on the map. Like, the place we're walking to is directly behind us. <laughs> No. I'm in cinematic camera now, too. Sweet. Remember, click the right stick if you want to change the camera. Hopefully we don't get lost. See, that's what would be a bitch about this, is not getting lost. <laughs> I know, we'd have to actually be like, alright, our third right <laughs> we need to take. That would actually force us to take a no-nonsense direct path, actually. It would. That was a nice little shot past those treetops. There's a nice little shot through the trees and the foliage. The foliage. These, these people are getting a goddamn fucking great show right now. That was a beautiful, beautiful fucking camera move. Am I even on the path? There's a crane still? if you would like if you would like to know. Yeah, starring Aaron Paul. I hope we're going the right way. Someone's coming up behind you. It's an NPC. Okay then. Okay then. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, we're still on the right path. Okay, this is a crossroad, so we got to kind of make sure we're going the right way. Okay. Chris Gaines. <laughs> oh, that sunset looks really fucking cool. And none of my angles are showing me. A lot of my angles look like someone is hiding in the bushes and watching us walk. <laughs> I'm fine with that. That's creepy as shit. Sec. Is that the bait shop? Are we already there? Yep, hang on. I need to do something really quick. Oh, wait. I'll stand here and wait then. Alright, let's do this. Let's finish this walk, partner. What did you have to do? I had to equip my lantern. Oh. Ah, there's a good shot. Stop walking in front of me! I'm, I'm just trying to course correct when my camera changes, that's all. Oh god. Chris Gaines. <laughs> Seriously, every fucking time. Get out of my way. This ain't the bait shop yet. The bait shop's over there. Are you in cinema view? Yep. Okay. So you gotta turn up this way. Okay. This way. That's the bait shop up there. This is a badass hero shot I got going on right now. Fireworks. The lads are in town, boys. <laughs> we made it. We made it. You've done it, ladies and gentlemen. The lads are back in town. Bye. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I was able to place dynamite. So we made it all the way to the bait shop. You placed dynamite on who or what? On the ground. It was under that lady's table. Fantastic. Well, now I gotta figure out how to get back to there. So that I can go apologize to that nice lady. Did you not die? Oh, no. I'm still in my, um... I'm still in the mode. I'm still in the menu, so it didn't even affect me. That's fucking gay. So if you go into the menu, it won't, it won't, uh, you won't be hurt. Yeah. Need more in? Hey, don't point that at me! 
All right. Jesus Christ. I stuck that it stuck in the wall right behind her. <laughs> Did we start our walk at night? Um, no, I think we started it during the daytime. Alright. Come on over here, and I'll get my camera out, and then we can do our last little picture. Well, we're waiting. Hang on, I'm trying to get in a position where it'll let me do the self-portrait. He's really not wanting me to do it from here. Find a different spot then. Hold L2 to grip your rod. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. got a fish on the line. Hold on. That's what she said. Wow, fishing? They made fishing hella easier. Um, kind of. It's it's more along the lines of you have to know what <clears throat> bait to use to get better fish. Okay. So it's less complicated for that and, and more intricate in just kind of, I guess, simming. I don't know. I caught me a catfish. This area reminds me of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. The lads have made it. There. I equipped some corn bait for the picture. <laughs> Alright. Fantastic. Did you get a picture? Because I accidentally moved. Yes, I got several. Damn, this lady doesn't stop talking, does she? <laughs> well, she is a black woman in the Old West. <laughs> Alright. So, well, we made it from Tumbleweed all the way out here. To Lagra. Lagris. Lagrisicus. Here, let's uh, let's fire our guns into the air to as as a <clears throat> celebration. But let's do it up here by this lady while staring at her. Hang on, where? Uh, and let me see. I have to aim and then press up on the D-pad. Up on the D-pad, yeah. Okay. I've got. And once you've fired all your things, he'll reload. You have to push up again, or he will continue aiming. <laughs> Am I double dual wielding? I am dual wielding both of them, huh? Yeah. No, just one of them. Oh. Ready, fire! <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face! <laughs> I love the real quick reload. <laughs> Oh. 
Hey, I can't even- Oh shit, I was about to say you can't kill her anyway, and then you set us both on fire and she's perfectly fine. Oh my god, look at my face. Come over here and look at my face. <laughs> Hold on. Our faces, Jesus. My god, see this is why you don't splash hot oil on people. Hang on, I'm trying to look towards you. Oh my god, that is, that fire is growing. Damn straight it is, and she's not even thinking about moving. Need more? Hey, need more? Your house is on fire. <laughs> hey, does it work on this building over here? Threw your dead body at yourself. Ah, yeah, see those these fires did not stay lit nearly as long as this one did, and I think it's because this one got us on fire, <laughs> which helped spread it when we panicked and ran away. <laughs> this is your corpse. I know your corpse is over here that I threw it at you. Wow. Oh. No, that's that's you that you're holding. Oh, okay, now now it's not. Now it's me. Oh man, this is a weird way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> did you did we even leave our first fucking track? From McGraw to Tumbleweed? Or did we die right here and we returned yeah. back to our bodies? We died right here. And we just, our ghosts <laughs> left and then came back. <laughs> they had a good time in Tumbleweed. I mean, my dick got an infection, but that's all okay now. Damn, that's So a everybody that we fucked with, everybody that you've pulled off your horse with your lasso, that's been a ghost encounter yeah. to these people. They don't know what the fuck just, to do. Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? Can I punch your horse? I don't have any more items that will light our bodies on fire. I do. Where do you want to go? I'll set us on fire right fucking now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some bodies. Set them to flame! Hang on. Go dance around it now. Oh, I kicked it. <laughs> this fire spreading. That be is it the dead bodies made you vomit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at it, it burned all our hair off. The reality of the situation that we actually never left in the first place. Did you just explode into flames? What happened? <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, a fish. Look, it's that lake sturgeon from when we first left. Oh, shit. Remember? Is. This is weird. Where did it come from? You set them people's houses on fire. It was a political thing. We don't want their kinds in our neighborhoods no more. These trees aren't very flammable. I think they're gonna have some trouble come winter. These pretzels are making me thirsty. You're no longer in my posse. I'm not. 
That means you're gonna get me with a lasso and tie me up. No. Couldn't you have done that already anyway? <laughs> hey, you put me out of my misery, what can I say? <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> you need to come over here and see the look on your face. <laughs> This is stupid. <laughs> it's a look of betrayal. Ah, <laughs> uh, Christ. That's some funny shit. Boom, <laughs> bitch! Okay, let's see. Aw, you parlayed? <laughs> Oh my god, his eyes are open, or did his eyelids burn <laughs> off? I don't know, either way, he just looks just betrayed. <laughs> he looks like, uh, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Why is everybody looking like Anna Anakin Skywalker to you? Well, because he's burned. Ah. Uh... I should be able to steal <clears throat> your guns now that you're dead. Right? Oh, look at that. Your face was... I, I accidentally picked you up. <laughs> Your face was just buried in the mud. It was pretty funny. Oh, so, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of wrestling... <laughs> we are going to do a promotion war between Comely Lad 1 and Comely Lad 2. Where are you even at on my map? I'm at Saint Denis. They or Saint Denis. They fucking put um. They put me way the fuck back here. Well, all right then. Yep. So that's how the comely lads end it, ladies and gentlemen, with an existential crisis. Fucking, we never really left the first time for a walk, let alone the second time. You still haven't really explained what this whole war, wrestling war thing that you're talking about is either. Well, you can go ahead and probably try to explain it better than I could at this point. We're I gonna have a wrestle a war. A <laughs> Whoa. Oh, come on. That was cool. I almost flew up there. We're gonna what have a wrestle war. Done? We're gonna play Fire Pro and have a war. Between promotions. Between We're wars. We're going to draft six wrestlers a piece. Carmine, Carmine a piece. Hey. Oh, I died. No, I didn't. Um, but we will draft six wrestlers a piece and try to make the best promotion possible wait, within wait. the year. Six wrestlers, Carmine a piece, right? Uh, uh, and they nudge, 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 in joke, nudge. <sighs> Yes, anyway, it's going to be fun. Yeah, we'll do weekly check-ins and see how well we did and all that good Yeah, it's good only stuff. one show per month in Fire Promoter, so it yeah. actually won't take long at all to get through our, our season, our first yeah. season. And it'll it's, so. uh, it's a matter of who got the higher score for their show per week. <clears throat> We'll probably do some kind of overblown awards. We'll break it down, like who had the better attendance record, who had the better shit like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll break it down yet. to all the, the simple, all the different... The nitty-grits. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, that should be fun. That should take take away the stench of, oh, this looks like a, a fucking Freddy Krueger. Anyway, it should take away the stench of this fucking walk that we had to endure again. I mean, it was it was good... It was a good time. Good times were had by all, but it's walking through the Remember old west. how often we used to see alligators out here? Yeah, I didn't see one gator. Not a single fucking gator. Thank you, Robert England. Your your pal. Your your peach. Um. But yeah, there was a lot more animal population back then. Like you could check the tape even. Yeah, check the tape. Check the tape. New Jack City. 
I'm up here. Oh, I guess You're I'm not up there. Up where? You're not on my thing because we're not in a group together no more. Oh, that's right. I'm too far away from you. Fire your gun into the air a bunch of times. Does that make you show up? My guy shook his head no. Did he actually? He did. I don't believe you. And then you're going to look back on the tape and you're going to be like, oh my god, I've been so foolish. I'm not, though. I'm not going to look back at the tape. I'm not going to say that. None of this is going to happen. You know that, right? I'm sure you are going to look back at the tape to make a uh, highlight clip when you're bored one day. Yeah, but it's not going to... I'm not going to say any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, chicken! Chicken! Oh, I'm going to kill that chicken. Come here, chicken. Good night, everybody. Come here, chicken. Oh, yeah, empty that whole cylinder into the chicken. Ruin its meat. It said good night like it's... Oh, yeah.